my possession, see? Nah, man, I'm like, hey, it's got too many. <laughs> you know? He probably hasn't been meditating too much, man. But if his faith was great, if he saw you know, this place ain't got too long, the people are wicked, and he starts to detest his possession, he said, this shit ain't gonna last anyway, man. I've got all this shit, but it's not gonna last me. If you came to him then and gave him the kingdom, like this faith, you would have been like, yeah, it's true, man. Fuck, fuck all this shit, man. You would have gave it all up. But because this guy here, you probably had it all, man. So it was like, you probably heard about the, the, the gospel, but he probably, he weren't deep in his faith and all that, man. So he gave up the faith for his possessions. Okay? That was his consolation. Has anybody brought out Matthew 6 and uh, 19 yet? Has it come out? Right. This is Matthew 6 and 19. It says, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where most and rough do corrupt, and where thieves break in and steal. <laughs> but lay up yourselves treasures in heaven, where moth and rust do not corrupt, and uh, where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. That, that's, that's, that's where his heart was, man. His, his drive was towards the riches, man. You know? And, pro and probably, uh, who, who told him to give up his possessions? The Messiah, Yahweh Shai, right? Yahweh Shai was probably just, just trying to test him. He probably didn't literally mean it. Before they said, give all your business, that's the test to see what he's going to do. Because at the end of the day, that's what's going to happen, it's all going to pour down to. When all hell breaks loose, like Lot's wife, man, and Lot, when they're about to be Sodom, man, you couldn't take all your possessions with you. Is he what? Getting delivered out of that shit? Or you stay with all your possessions and get burned up? So at the last minute, he had to he had to pick a choice, man. Which one? You had to make a, a quick decision. What are you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Because the more possessions you have, is the more is the longer it's gonna take for you to make a decision. And that's why it says, "Bound not treasures up on earth." Because when you do it, it's gonna take a long time for you to make it. You're gonna be looking at all your shit and be like, "No, oh, you know." Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be like. And then you're gonna try and take a little bit in your pockets, try to put, you know, fill out your pockets a bit. And that's gonna take more time, but the missiles are getting closer, man. <laughs> you're like, fuck that, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this t shirt, you're like, damn, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try this one, man. Make sure that we look good at least. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because even in movies, every time they show a guy, like, uh, every time they show a guy that's sort of like trying to take as much as he can carry, yeah, yeah, yeah. those guys always die. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They always die in the like movie. Like in this movie, yeah. Like in this movie, the yeah. mummy, innit? The, the mummy, mummy. that's what I'm talking about. The mummy, yeah. Because the mummy, yeah. yeah. the 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 they were up there for the gold, innit? Yeah. <laughs> they, you know, they got the, 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 the dead, the, the Egyptian book of the dead and all that. They tried to resurrect the mummy and. They were trying to get into the pyramids, yeah? The, the tombs of the pharaohs to find, get all that treasure. And one of them motherfuckers got into the, into the treasure and he was surrounded by treasure, man. And like, I forget what happened, man, but I know the motherfucker, he got he closed, he got closed in. Yeah. He, tried, he tried to fill up the shit with, with gold and shit. And then all the little termites came and yeah. yammed him up, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but he even got, he got shot inside. He tried to get inside, but the thing was closing. And he was trying to drag as much money as possible, okay, but the yeah. thing was slowing him down. Yeah. I like it. He took some out and put them on the camera, and they went back for more. He goes, <laughs> <laughs> and even when you were talking about um, Lot's wife here, yeah, she left with Lot and the company of the people, yeah. but she looked back. She looked back. And when you look, when you compare that to the truth, it's like you know, there's some people that they're here, like oh, okay, I might as well, but they still miss thing with the past. So even if you've left or you've come into this and you're still missing the life before, that's yeah. like looking back. Yeah, looking back, man. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? You got that. Go on, go on. Yeah, um, about you know people who want to hold on to their treasures. That's funny because in Genesis 19 and 16, it says that Lot was lingering because his two daughters had um, yeah, yeah, they're yeah, engaged yeah, yeah. and he was lingering, but the angels had to lead him out by the hand. They grabbed him up and yeah. said, Let's them out, go, yeah. <laughs> so here's the precept for that. It says, uh, Genesis uh, 19 and 15. It says, And when the morning arose, and the angels hasted Lot, saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy two daughters, which are here, lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. Here's the point in verse 16. It says, While he lingered, 
the men laid hold upon his hand and upon the hand of his wife and upon the hand of his daughters and Yahweh being merciful unto him and they brought him forth and set him out without the city. So basically Lot was hanging around, they had to drag yeah, him out. Hanging around, around. it's yeah. taking long. You gotta, you gotta move, man. You gotta move, man. Yeah, because you know? they told him, man, we can't destroy this person until you move out, man. And he was, ah, <laughs> what can I pack? Can I pack it? Can I pack the suitcase? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a preset to that, what you just, what you just read. Matthew 7, carrying on from what you, what you read before. To the, to the point it says, uh, 7.24 says, Therefore, whosoever hath... No, where did it go over to the other page? 6.24 No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to one and despise the other. He cannot serve God and Manmon. Right. So that's how it's going to be. So you're, going to, you're going to nod your head at one, and you're going to shake your head at the other. And in the case of this rich man, he shook his head at he, he, he shook his head at the gospel and the kingdom, and he nodded his head at his possessions, man. You're going to love one, and you're going to hate the other. That's basically what it is. Yeah, Matthew 24, one has to be a king, Matthew 13, and I think it's 24. This is Matthew 13 and 44. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure hid in a field. The which when a man hath found, he hideth, and for joy thereof goeth and selleth all that he hath, and buyeth that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man seeking goodly pearls. And when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net that was cast into a sea and gathered of every kind, which, when it was full, they drew the shore and sat down and gathered the good into vessels, but cast the bad away. So shall it be at the end of the world, the angels shall come forth and sever the wicked from, the, from among the just and shall cast them into, on, into the furnace of fire, they shall be buried and gnashing of teeth. Yeah, going back to the verse 24 again, it says, verse 24 again. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a treasure hid in the field, the which when a man hath found, he hide it, and for joy they will go with and sell it, all that he have, and buy of that field. Yeah, man, so it's like what, man? Uh, pretty much, the treasure is what, man? It's truth, man. Okay, you, 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 you're selling everything that you have in order to gain this truth instead. That's why that's the power of what I share again, man. Somebody, you find you find you find treasure, you know in that field there's treasure, so you go and sell everything that you have so you can buy that field. Because in the field there you know there's treasure a lot more a lot a lot more worth than uh, the money that you had in the first place, man. Yeah. Okay? So it's like me, I've got expensive taste. You know, I, you uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll, buy, I'll buy shoes for 200 pounds. I'll do it, man. Because of the quality of the material. It will last, yeah. it looks good. I don't like buying cheap things because it says something about, I don't know, like you can make cheap things look good. Jake can, also, can do that. But um, I, just, I just like nice looking things, man. You know? So I'm prepared, like, to bust my money for for something that looks nice, like, yes, rather than like. exactly, yeah, rather than like use a little bit of money and buy something just to just to put on my foot. You know what I'm saying? I'm like that. So if you see something that's valuable, you're prepared to put in yeah. for that valuable thing. In, in, in to investment. give up, to give yeah, up yeah. your your shit for that thing that's valuable. You know what I'm saying? So it's like this. We, we, the reason why we're giving up our lives and literally like screwing up our lives brothers are screwing up their lives man. <laughs> can you imagine that? brothers is screwing up their lives man. you know what I'm saying? like I know that in the next 10 if this place continues for the next 10 years time Lord God forbid if it ever did I'd probably be homeless man because I don't have a degree um, the job I have is shitty, it's like a career kind of job, man. I'm constantly working outside. I haven't saved up no money. And I'm constantly paying out money. If I grow old in this place, fucked. I'm fucked. I'm literally fucked. If my mom dies, if my dad dies, 
I've, I'd have no one to help me. I'd literally be working every day. I'd be, I'm sick and I'm, I've got an uh, immune system problem as enough as it is. Imagine if I grow old. I'd be, I'd be, I'd be dead, man. Working every day, I'd be, I'd be dead. So I've literally screwed up my life, like, giving up university. I gave up, what else did I give up, man? Any type of job that would have saved up, I, I gave all that up for this, man. I literally just put my life on, on standby, a stop for this, man. You know what I'm saying? No safety net. Nothing. I've literally put all my trust in the, in, the incoming of, of the kingdom, of Yahweh Shai coming back. I've literally put my all into it, man. You this the, the kingdom, I see you far off. I see Yahweh Shah coming. I see all the people shame facing man, screaming in terror, man. All the people that have invested, I see it, man. I see the, the chariots. I see the deliverance. Okay? I see everything, everything in this place being destroyed, man. Right. Everything that's been put into this place being destroyed, man. The buildings, the fashion, the clothes. The cars, everything, the, the money's all being destroyed, man. All I see is, is Yahweh Shai, okay? The chariots, the sword, the, that's all I see. And, and I value that. So much so that that outweighs the current life that I'm living. I'd rather throw away the current life I'm living for that, man. Who's first? Go, 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 go. This is uh, quickly in Matthew chapter 4, verse 18. And Yahushua walking by the Sea of Galilee saw two brethren, Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And he saith unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. This is the point. And they straightway left their nets and followed him. <laughs> That's how shit their life was, man. Their life was so shit. That all it took was your house and said, man, come follow me. You know, like, anything beats this, man. <laughs> they, they drop the nets in this. Right. Straight away, man. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they weren't making much anyway, man. You know? For them that did that straight away, that means the life that they were living was little to shit, man. Listen. The house I came covertly, like, he knew what he was saying, come follow me. You know, like, okay, cool. That shows humility. Also, uh, this is Colossians chapter two, chapter three and verse two. It says, "Set your affection on things above, not on things on earth, for ye are dead, and your life is hidden from Mashiach in the Most High. When a Mashiach, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory." Read that again. Uh, Colossians chapter three and verse two. It says, "Set not your affections on things." So it's lucky. Set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Hamashiach in the Most High. When Hamashiach, who is our life, shall appear, then ye also shall appear with him in glory. Yeah, man. Set not your affections on earth, man. You see a lot of these music videos with these rappers, man. They, they love showing their jewelry. You know, <coughs> different chains, the different type of jewelry that just spin round. And throughout the whole music video, they're just looking at their, their things, man. Yeah. They're setting their affection on them, man. Yeah, yeah. Looking cool and all these holes round about them. Set, yeah, set not your affection. Because all these things are dead things. None of these things, your jewelry is going to save you, man. Yeah. Different, you, got, you can design different jewelry. Like, you can get a ring that can spin and shit. Yeah. Ice, rounded, watches. Shades looking all cool for the video. Zort is dead, man. Meanwhile, you're in a body that can be sick. Right. You're trying to adorn your corruptible flesh, man. And so it's vanity, man. It really is. What's the point, man? Here it is, you're trying to look perfect, but you're not perfect, man. You're not perfect. Like you can get sick, you got mucus coming out your nose. But you're looking all flashy, it's vain, man. What's the point? If you want to be perfect, be perfect according to what the scriptures say. Perfect like we're going to get new bodies. Then we can put on that show because we're going to be actually going to be perfect. You know what I'm saying? 
Man, you see all these rap rappers? That's all a vain show. They're not perfect, man. They're not as perfect as they're showing themselves to be. They're not, man. Got a car and you got the girl screaming. He's just a guy, man. You probably catch a cold later on, man. And you know too, a lot of those um, those rap videos that those that those guys be making, a lot of it's fake. Yeah, yeah. Like they rent the cars, yeah. Oh, yeah. They rent the women as well. See what I'm saying? Rented. Yeah. See what so you're watching it, thinking that oh, this is how they yep, live. Yep. Yeah. But they not live like. I, that. I was watching one music video with um, Migos. It's called Migos. Well, yeah, and, um, and the jewelry is rented. Huh? A lot of the jewelry is rented. For them? Yeah. A lot of the jewelry is rented. He's in he's in a limousine. Where is he? He's in um, is it France, Spain, or something like that. And he's just looking at his jewelry and all spinning and shit. The different interchangeable jewelry, I'm like. <laughs> and he's in a club, right? A stripper club. And the woman there got fat, me and everything like that. Money is falling from the ceiling and shit. I'm thinking, that's not real, man. That's just a, a fucking, like, it's an act, man. You know, they, <laughs> they got money, actually, like paper money falling from the ceiling. That's not stage. real, man. That's set up, man. Stage. stage. That's all stage, man. That's not how, that's not real life, man. That's not the real life that they're living. It's, it's, it's just some, some dream, man. Yeah? It's an illusion. Like, yeah. It's an illusion. They've yeah, uh, just got the notification. They've just voted on this Brexit situation and uh, the MPs, they've, they've voted to extend it again. Oh, to January the 31st. Go with Tyree, wait. It's now to it's now, now to January the 31st. Oh, so now he has to go and ask for an extension now again for Brexit. Oh, no, no, no. But they're gonna have a vote today. I thought it was yesterday, but I believe like I, last, last time the Bama said to me they're gonna be uh, doing it Saturdays now, overtime, innit? Yeah, from last week. Yeah, they're never, they're never, they're never in parliament on the, on the Saturdays, but now they have to come in, uh, they have to come to work on the Saturday now to do this voting thing. And now they basically they've rejected uh Boris Johnson's new agreement uh, for the Brexit and now they're gonna ask to uh, to extend it now even further. Mm. So it was supposed to be the 31st of October. Yeah. Yes, yes. Now they've extended October. it. Yeah, 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 so yeah, now yeah. they're gonna have to request to extend Brexit again. Not even by one month, all the way till January. January 31st. Wow. Oh, so more, more waiting man. <laughs> okay. Let's go. That's right. I just remember I just because I saw the woman there with the uh, with the uh, European Union flag <laughs> and I remember I just remember to check uh, what the result was in it. And uh, yeah, they've extended, they wanna extend it now, man. This place is confused, it's divided, man. You know, the Lord said about a divided kingdom. They can't agree and they are all Edomites. All these countries are all Edomites. You know, but they have they broken up and divided and they can't agree and you know falling apart, man. You know? So uh, James 5 and 1. Go to it's like a go-to now, ye, it's like a go-to now, ye rich man, 